Hey everybody! So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be the July 2020 read for our Capricorns. I was about to say June. Yeah, we already in July. July 2020 for our Capricorns. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Doesn't matter where you have the placement. If you identify as a Capricorn love, then this is for you, okay? So let us go ahead and get into this reading what energy you all will be dealing with for the month of July 2020, okay? Let us see. Messages for our Capricorns. July 2020. Spirit, what messages do we have for Capricorn? July. We have First Chakra, okay? Archangel Michael, alright? So we're talking about your assets, your sense of security, you feeling like you belong, okay? Overall is what I'm hearing and feeling, okay? Some of you may have moved, <clears throat> some of you may be getting cars, some of you may be starting new jobs, okay? Some of you want to do these things, but you feel like you're attached to something, okay? Like you want to move on, but you can't for whatever reason or another, okay? You feel like something is holding you back, all right? I feel here like someone is facing their demon, someone is facing their shadow, okay? That's what I feel. And we have indecision, all right? So while this indecision is here, I feel it has to do with you leaving certain people that you love behind with the fourth chakra, which is your heart, okay? So loving certain people, all right? It may even be a job that you have that you feel like you love. And you're like, dang, but I really want to move on to the next thing. But I love this job. I love the people. What do I do? What do I do? So indecision, okay? Feeling a bit indecisive here. Let's see what messages come out for our Capricorns. For July 2020, Spirit. July 2020 for our Capricorns. Let's see what messages we get for you. First chakra, why are you here? The number 8 is going to be really significant to you guys, okay? The number 11 and the number 5, okay? So let us see. We have the sun card. So some of you don't feel too happy with where you are right now. It did originally come out inverted, okay? So I feel like someone is trying to find happiness okay trying to find happiness is what you're doing let us see what we have the eight of swords so you're stuck in your head about something all right and i feel like you think about it all the time some of you like i said you have visions and dreams of where you want to go all right and you know that it's like you feel where you are there's nothing there for you but you won't leave okay <clears throat> like you feel like you've outgrown whatever this thing is but you won't leave so temperance is here okay maybe one step at a time one two one two just pace yourself okay you don't have to leave immediately all right take the necessary steps do it gradually then maybe you won't feel so indecisive about this process all right attachments let's see why this is here for our capricorns we have the emperor all right, some of you may be really, really close to your fathers, okay? And you may not want to leave behind your father, all right? We have the Page of Wands, all right? <clears throat> some of you may be trying to build a relationship with this person, so you don't want to leave or go too far from where they are, okay? Let us see what's happening. This person may also have um, things going on with their health. Something may have happened in the past where communication was blocked, but now it's open between the two of you. All right, so this is something that you want to build on, and I feel like that's why you don't want to leave. All right, some of you are just now starting to work on this relationship with your fathers, okay? So let us see indecision <clears throat> for Capricorn. We have Four of Swords here, all right? So I feel you um, sometimes being indecisive, of course, but at the end of the day, you know this will be a beneficial thing to do with the Ace of Pentacles. And like I said, for some of you, somebody's health, Okay, somebody's health was acting up or cutting up at one point in time, but their health is getting much better. They could have been bedridden, okay, <clears throat> but their health is inclining, it's getting better. So we have four of pentacles here, okay, yeah, and then we have the high priestess, all right. So I feel like some of you just need to know that truth. Some of you needed to know that everything with them was going to be okay prior to you moving, especially with you guys just now starting to rebuild this relationship, okay? Let's see what else we can get here. Eight of Swords for our Capricorns. 
the moon card, okay? So, like I said, a lot of shadow healing, facing your demons. Some of you are making peace with the things that you've said, the things that you've done, the things that this person has said, all right? Everything that's happened in your past with this Five of Cups, which let's look more into that. Yep, everything is fine, all right? I feel like a lot of you have put on the front for a really long time that you were happier than you were, and now you're having to deal with that prior to moving on to the next phase in your life, and you know that, okay? You know that in order for you to feel stable and secure wherever else you go, that you're going to have to deal with certain things inside of your heart first. Otherwise, see, cornucopia is here in reverse, exactly, and then we have angel strength. If And then, wow, woman holding a heart and then happy family in reverse. You see this? Wow, all tied up. I mean, I can keep going. So it's like you guys feel restricted, and until you heal this situation with your family, your father, whoever this person is, until you heal your heart, angel of strength and woman holding a heart, you won't be able to enjoy any of the cornucopia and the blessings that have been prepared for you, all right? So we have to tend to this. That's what's happening here. All right, Capricorn, what do we have for you? <clears throat> Underline the energy, we have the Nine of Wands. So some of you are putting that guard down, all right, allowing that guard to fall. Sun card for Capricorn, all right, July 2020. Let us see. Wow, we have the Nine of Pentacles here. So this is something that you guys have been wanting to build on, your happiness, your independence, all right? But like I said, until you deal with this, you know you're not going to be able to move on. Interesting. Your underlying energy is here. You. Temptation. Capricorn energy. Okay? So, this is going to conclude the reading, guys. If you enjoyed it or it resonated, give it a thumbs up. And if you have yet to do so, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair, peace.